Narcissists abuse you and then expect you to feel sorry for them. I'm like, how does that work? <laughs> I mean, it's like entering the twilight zone of insanity. So, uh, basically, they have a whole job description for you. And you don't even know, you're like, wait a minute, I, I missed the interview. I didn't get a, a, a memo with the job description. I didn't get any of the, I wasn't informed of any of the qualifications for this job, such as being a doormat, enduring psychological abuse, sometimes physical abuse, um, gaslighting, projection, mirroring, triangulation, uh, future faking, just all types of psychological abuse. I never got the job description. I didn't even know I was uh, on a job interview. I didn't know I was signing up for any job <laughs> to be here to be the narcissist servant. I, I don't know. I must have missed the whole... Maybe it was a dream. Maybe I dreamed that I went on a job interview. I don't know. I must have missed the whole thing. I, I don't recall it happening in reality. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like the narcissist has this entire list of things that you are going to do for them. But on their list, there's nothing other than abuse and torture. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a completely one-sided ordeal in the sense that you have to serve them, but they, they don't have to do anything for you. Like if you said, Oh, I need you to go get some eggs at the grocery store. I mean, they don't have to do anything. They have to do nothing. So it's like, who on earth would sign up for that? It's like, um, I think I'll skip the job interview. I'm not interested in that job. <laughs> I mean, like, who on earth would sign up for that? And and the whole idea is that you don't know that you you signed up for this and so that's how they're able to get these schemes off because by the time anyone knows that they're even fulfilling this job it's too late and that's how um covert and secret and and and, and how they're able to do this in stealth stealthily you know um that literally the person does not even know until it's too late. So, uh, I just find it amazing how the narcissist does all of these um, horrendous and terrible things, but yet then the victim is somehow supposed to feel sorry for the narcissist. I'm like, um... Oh, that's not insane at all. No, that's that's not that's not bizarre. That's not backwards at all. So, uh, you know, more of their delusion, more more of their deluded mind at work, thinking that we are supposed to feel sorry for an abuser. I don't think so. No, I don't. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. So, it just shows you how twisted their thinking is and how mentally deranged they are. Uh, they just think that you are supposed to be abused. Like, that's your job. Your job is to be abused so that the narcissist can, can get their supply and so they can breathe. So you're just like the fall guy. You're just like the, you're the casualty in this mess. You're just, doesn't matter if you drop dead tomorrow, as long as the narcissist can breathe and get their supply. Uh, they have no issues whatsoever in you being a casualty in this whole thing. You're not even a consideration. You're, 
you're an afterthought to the narcissist. You, you're just simply there to serve them, and that's it. They, they don't, they don't think anything else about it. They, they don't care about their victims at all. So, uh, this is just, they just think this is expected. This is just what people are supposed to do. People are just supposed to serve the narcissist, to serve them, and that's it. So, uh, you know, and then they think, that they think they are the victim. Like, how dare you? How dare you leave and not put up with my abuse? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I mean, it's utterly insane. And uh, it's not like you can explain this to them. If you try to explain anything to them, you prepare for more psychological abuse. So you're just going to um, get, ga you know, gaslighted. And, and suffer more abuse. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just astounding. It's astounding how backwards they are and, and how uh, sick they are.